Buenos días, feliz viernes. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been doing Duolingo a lot lately. Um, got about 12,000 experience points, working my way up. I'm in the Obsidian League, uh, or Subsidian level, which is one short of the diamond. Which is to say, I'm not very far, actually. <laughs> Uh, diamond is the highest level you can go, and it's only because I've only missed a couple. Um, yeah, I know, it's totally irrelevant, but, you know, that's why I started off with a little bit of Spanish. I'm picking up words, picking up phrases, but calling them from memory is not always that easy. The Viernes I didn't have a problem with, but I couldn't remember if that's how you, I wanted to be sure how you would say Happy Friday. It would have to be Feliz Viernes, so Happy Friday it is. Uh, so, I haven't done a, I didn't do a stream yesterday, I don't think. Nope, sure didn't. Well, because I wanted to spend some time on this and uh, maybe do a little bit on the formulas without having to drag uh, listeners along with me. But, uh, oh well, getting dragged. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, I mean, it's not like, it's not like there's a whole ton of you out there being tortured by this, but, uh, We'll just have to see how it goes. And uh, let's see, last time we were in the process of making our uh, our Excel spreadsheet formulas for our different guys. And I had started uh, actually giving them some more usable names, trying to remember some, some uh, Pokemon that might be... Um, let's see, who else was in the dark world? Um, well, let's see. Dark, 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 dark. You know, I think it's just easier to reference the good old Google Net. <laughs> let's see, here we got the dark Pokemon. Sableye. I came up with that without waiting for it to come up because I knew it was one. Because I. Sableye. 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 And. Um, who else? Say dark Pokemon. And let's go with images. Let's see. Oh, Hound Doom. Yep, Hound Doom's a good one. Hound. Hound Doom. Hound Doom. And uh, he's not actually. Uh, he is. Wait. Yeah, Hound Doom is a stage two. Or stage one. So, the question here is what was his basic? That is your trivia question. Alright, let's see. Can you tell me? I didn't think you could. Aha, so none of you know the answer to that. Huh? So don't give me the excuse that you aren't listening or you weren't watching or it's not a... That's just, hey, if you don't answer, you don't know. That's just what I'm going to go with. That's my, uh, that's my rule. Now, if you're listening to this later and you knew the answer, it doesn't count. So, as far as I'm concerned, nobody who listens to this has any idea who the, the uh, basic for uh, Hound Doom is. Isn't he? He's like a little little puppy, a little pup, isn't he? Uh, let's see. Dark Pokemon. I know he was like. Uh, <sighs> Dang it. All right, let's just say, let's type in Hound Doom. Hound Doom. See if his basic comes up. That's, oh, Hound Door turns into Hound Doom. Well, that's, that's original. <laughs> I know. Pokemon doesn't ever actually try to be all that. I mean, it's always a play on, uh, this is Hound Doom. That means we need to have a guy who's like, Hound Door. Oh, 
portmanteau. That's funny. Oh, yeah. One of the things that we did last time was we discovered that Excel can try to fill in some fields for you. Um, you put in some names, and then you try to enter in something else. And it will attempt to make up new names. And it made up all kinds of crazy names. Based on the names you've already put in. Like I put Hitmon top and a couple other things. And then when I went down to the next line and wanted to wanted to uh, put in another one, it popped up like a selection of names that I just hit tab and they all auto loaded. And it was awesome because you had like Hitmon P, <laughs> Hitmon Ho. <laughs> it was great. It made up a bunch. I mean, I have to go back and watch that other video and see what the uh, names it came up with. Uh, I think that was my last... Uh, last video um, let's see what we got here I'm just putting in um, just trying to make up some names here for these guys Houndu, Houndu, and Hitmon. See, it, this is one of the names that came up with Hitmon Toll I don't know what that is but and I'm also trying to stick kind of with I believe um, it's like Mighty Anna actually I think comes from Mighty Anna actually comes from another one too. Mighty, Mighty Anna. I don't think he's actually a basic. Yeah, Pooch, Poochy Anna. So in order for me to use Mighty Anna, I need to have Poochy Anna. This would have to be Poochie. Yeah, I think of the names that Excel auto filled, and I'm like, what logic? What, what, um, what was the coding to make up those names? <laughs> I mean, based off just of a few. A few names before it. I don't know how it figured those out. Um, so I have Knight set up as these are actually dark Pokemon, but the idea is that they come out in the dark, right? Oh, I need another one. What else can I put in here? Doo -doo -doo. Who's this guy? That is. I don't remember his name. Sneasel? No, that's not the one. That was just a different guy because I can't remember the name of the guy it's showing me. Um, but we'll put Sneasel in here. I believe he's just a basic that stays a basic Sneasel. The one I'm looking at, and I don't think he stays this, but I'm trying to remember what he is. He is a. Not introduced until. Oh, I didn't realize that. So, Generation 2 is when Dark Pokemon came in. So, in theory, if I leave Dark Pokemon out, I can just call this Generation 1, right? Try to only put Generation 1 stuff in. Might be a solution. I think the same goes for Metal. I don't think Metal was, uh, was immediately part of it either. Spirit Tune by Sharp. So these are some newer ones, I think. Hydragon. He's actually a dragon. Weevil. Oh, yeah. And he comes from Sneasel. Sneasel's the other one I was thinking of. Sneasel. Oh, I did put Sneasel in. Oh, so Sneasel. Weevil comes from Sneasel. Hmm. Yeah. We're still leaving Sneasel just as a basic right now because, like I said, I may not even put Dark in because we do have to reduce. Ultimately, we may have to uh, eliminate. See, hit my top was one I put in. Squirtle, water. And I can't have guy. See, I put a uh, grass guy, and when I did that, it went down and calculated some stuff. I'm not sure how, but it had multiple different types of guy, like dark guy, and it did some things, but 
when it got to day, it didn't know what to do with it. So it um, just put guy in, which is lame. Since it's all oh, those are electric electric Pokemon. So <clears throat> let's take a look at some electric guys. Just for some names. Need some names. Do -do 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 -do. Some electric electric names. And I I might remember some of them just by looking at these guys. Oh, there's Electabuzz. I'm pretty sure he's a, a basic, but he's actually a pretty good basic, I think. Elect Electabuzz. Electabuzz. Yeah. Not too worried about spelling. Not right now anyway. Raichu. But he's like a legendary, isn't he? No, not Raichu. Um this guy. The lion dude. Uh what was his name? Do not remember his name. Uh, what else we got here? Oh yeah, there was uh, the lamb. Let's see. This is uh, uh, oh Pichu. Let's put Pichu in. Pichu's classic, right? Pichu. And then there's. Did I put Raichu in for Pikachu? Did not. Let's put a right you in. Um, I don't know. Electric has an evol evolution too, but I'm not putting it in right now. Is it Meryl, Mar Mareep, and then who does Mareep come from? Mareep turns into another guy, and then he turns into this guy. Could put in uh, Magnemite. Magnemite. Is it Magnemite or Magnemite? Don't know. All right. So, who does Electric turn into? Crickets. Bueller. Bueller. Uh, electric. Um, elec electric. I'm pretty sure he evolves into something. Yeah, see, he evolves into. I think that guy came later. That's my my opinion, anyway. See, that's Sword and Shield guy. Pretty sure electric. Oh, he turns into manectric. Huh. And I don't know who the guy that is. But it's manectric. We'll go with manectric. I know these are these are lame for uh, Pokemon. Manectric. Haven't decided how we're gonna do uh, legendaries either. I'm considering different ways for those to come into play, but we've got a lot of things to still work out, so we're not really as close as we'd like to be. Let's see, look, I put in a, <laughs> I put in a Sharkpedo, <laughs> and these are some of the names that I came up with: Sarkpedo and Sirkpeso. <sighs> see, I still have some lingering versions of the Excel uh, names that came in. How do you like that one? Eitman Fog came from Hitman on top somehow. I don't know if it was blending these names up here or what the schnoodles it was doing, but it did them weird. <sighs> Fire Pokemon. Let's see. Ah, Magmar. Why not? Let's put Magmar in. Magmar seems like a decent guy to put in. And we already did Charmander, so we should probably do at least the stage one for Charmander, which was Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Okay. 
Charmeleon. And let's let's go all out. Let's put in a stage three and just um, or stage two, and we'll have Charizard. Why not? Why not? Got to have a stage two in there, at least one, right? So <clears throat> the trick is when we do our publisher prints, what we'll probably have to do to make sure that it prints the right amount of each one because we need it to work is we'll probably have to copy these lines. So like if I decide I need, you know, um, three Charizard, two Charmeleon, and for, for every one Charmander, then I'll have to actually put those lines in, just have them as duplicates. Because that's how, I mean, I guess in theory, we don't, they don't have to be exact duplicates, right? We could change up their stats a little bit, just tiny, uh, like changing their defense and their attacks and whatever. And this way, they're a little bit different when you get them, or they start off a little bit differently. Maybe you have a, a Charmander that has better defense and one that has better uh, better offense or attack or whatever. Anyway, all right, what else we got? We got, got to come up with some more names here. We need some fighting ones. Fight. Fight, fight. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got to have... He's a stage two also. I guess we can put him in, but this is... Uh, Machamp, Machop would have to be in here. So we'll put Machop. And then we're going to call this guy a stage two. And we'll have him be Machamp. Who's the guy in the middle? Machop, Ma. Ma, Ma, Ma. Ma, 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 Ma. Ma, Ma. Machamp. Ma Chump. <laughs> who is his? Who is his prequel? Who comes before? That guy comes before, but who is it? Ma Choke. That's right, Ma Choke. So we'll put Ma Choke in as our stage one. Ma Choke. Ma Chump. Ma Choke. And then. Um, who else? Let's go back to our fighting list. <sighs> I already put some Hitmon dudes in there. He's really new, I think. He's he's like from the latest stuff. I'm trying to find some guys that are... Uh, Mankey? I thought Mankey was fire. No, that's Primate. Wait, Mankey turns into Primate, though, doesn't he? Oh, so confused. No. So is Mankey a fighting Pokemon? It does say he is. Oh, he does turn into Primate. I don't want to do him, because he turns into someone else. And I don't have... I'm not doing someone else's right now. Who else is a basic fighting... Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hitmon Top, Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chop. Who's the other guy? <laughs> Hitmon, Hitmon Top, Hitmon Lee, and Hitmon something. Let's go. Let's type in Hitmon. Hitmon. We're gonna have all the Hitmons in here. Hitmon Top, Hitmon Lee. Oh, Tyrogue. Oh, Tyrogue was a baby though. I don't think I'm doing a baby Pokemon. Not yet. We can do those some other time. Hitmon Chan. Oh, Hitmon Chan. Top Lee and Chan. Oh, it was. All right, Hitmon Chan. I know these are the, like I said, probably not the uh, Hitmon. Probably not the best fighting Pokemon, but you know, I'm just trying to come up with some that I know. Just have some names. I think he's pretty new too, so I can't really use him. 
I don't know. Are there a lot of fighting Pokemon in the early early days? Oh, here is a Hitmon Ernie. <laughs> Why is he a Pokemon? <laughs> Best fighting Pokemon. Who's this guy? He looks familiar, but I can't remember his. Oh no, that's one Hitmon Chan or hit one of the Hitmon guys. Isn't he? Isn't that one of the Hitmon guys? He's a Hitmon dude. He evolved. Oh yeah, that's Hitmon Lee. No, that's Hitmon Lee. Oh, that's Hitmon Chan and Hitmon Lee. Okay, never mind. So, all right, they, that was just another one of the Hitmon guys. Cerave, but again, I don't think... There's just not that many dark uh, guys that stay one level, are there? Because I don't recognize... Most of these, I recognize most of these, I think, from newer sets. There must not have been that many dark guys. Like this guy, I don't think he wasn't around at the beginning. And what do I know? But hey, nobody's around to debate it, so it is what it is. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, is the um, I'm thinking of. Uh, Sandshrew, but is he a fighting? I know he evolves. But I'm just thinking. And he evolves. It's just not. That guy's a fighting Pokemon? Oh, he's a bird, a white color. Well, in the cards, anyway. I guess there aren't any white color Pokemon in, <laughs> in general. He may use fighting skills, but I think he's put in as part of the uh, the white or colorless guys. Kang Kangish Khan, but he's also a colorless guy, I think. So, and I just figured I would create some random uh, colorless guys. You know, Kangish Khan, maybe a couple of others. Just have them be out there in the world randomly in the stacks <laughs> so you can get some colorless guys you know I mean maybe I don't do colorless maybe I just put guys in there because it's not really it really doesn't matter what color the Pokemon is it's just that's going to be energy that they require so you can put guys that don't require any fighting energy or into any stack really right even if they're fighting Pokemon they don't have fire, fighting energy as a requirement they can be in any stack now, then there's those Pokemon that can be of multiple types. And again, those could pretty much be in any stack that has that type in it. So, you know, you can do whatever. So, we have the advantage of doing, um, see, I don't know, rock and ground. You know, that's, I don't, there's not really a rock and ground Pokemon type in the cards yet. <laughs> I don't know. They may break them out someday as they create more and more. But right now, I think it's just all these guys fell into the fighting group. Um, he's a basic, but don't really... <sighs> all right, fine. Let's put Sandshrew in. Sand... Ooh, we got water, we got some fight. Oh, we got some grass that we don't have. Uh, don't have any grass. Grass, grass, grass. Who we got? Who are some good? Oops, what do I do? Got big. Don't want it that white because it makes me look that white. <laughs> the more white on my screen, the paler I look. So I gotta be careful about that. Um, Alexa, set desk lamp at a hundred percent. Set 
So basically what I did there was I turned up the yellow. It helps offset the white. So, or maybe a little more yellow on my skin. Maybe too much, but now, if I put a lot more white on my screen, like so, it makes me get paler. So I need the brightness of the yellow to mix in with it, or I just start to look weird. <laughs> so I have, so if I turn it down too much, make my screen really dark, I start to look weird again because then I'm yellow. So there's the drawback of having, uh... all right, let's go ahead and put, uh, I think Salaby evolves into people, but I, I, don't know. I mean, like a lot of these guys evolve. It's gonna be interesting to try to find Pokemon that just stay basics. Is Tropius? No, I think things evolve into him. I'm trying to think of like who's who's a well-known always basic. Um. Are uh, well known only basic in the grass type or in the grass Pokemon world. Ludi Loco, Ludi Colo, those are grass guys? I thought they were water guys. Uh, um, yep, evolves, evolves. There's not a lot of basic basic Pokemon that stay basic Pokemon, are there? I mean, I can put in. Um, oh yeah, no. Uh, uh, some of these guys I don't. I think were basics, and they stayed basic for a few sets, and then eventually evolved. And I don't have to worry about that because I'm not putting in other stuff right now. <sighs> hmm. It's like most Pokemon can evolve now, unless they're like some special version of Pokemon like EX or something. But I think even some EXs can evolve. But and he's a new one, so I can't put him in. I'm trying not to get the new guys in. Oh, Eevee. But Eevee's a colorless, but then he turns into one of these guys, which is actually a stage one. I don't even know if the grass version of Eevee, was the grass version of Eevee even a, a thing in the early days? No, he had a few. I know he had the fire and the water, the Vaporeon, Clarion, and yeah, maybe the grass one did exist. Uh, oh yeah, Vol Vol Volteon? No. Vol Vol Volion? I don't remember. Who is this? Volt. Volt something. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Fine. I know Salve evolves, but I can't find any of these guys that don't evolve. Let's see. Let's say grass. Let's narrow my limit. Basic Pokemon. Let's see, what if I say Gen 1? Will that do anything? Gen 1. I guess not. I don't even think he was Gen 1 because Bellsprout turned into something too. Every first gen grass Pokemon. Paris, oh yeah, he evolved too though. Bellsprout, he evolves, Oddish evolves, Execute evolves, and the Executor, Parasect. Yep, yep, these guys all evolved. Victory Bell, yep, Tangela. Oh yeah, I don't think Tangrowth came out right away. I think Tangela might have been always a basic. Still useful to have around, it has some pretty neat lores running in across. Find the fantasy, throw them. It's also pretty rare to find any of the games, including Pokemon Go, which edges up the list. Uh, 
<clears throat> and it has some pretty neat little design here. If it gets caught in something, it can snap off its vines and painlessly regrow them. Well, good for you. I'm going to put Tangella in. I don't remember if Tangrowth even existed in the early days. And until someone tells me otherwise, Tangella. Lobosaur, of course, Ivysaur, Vile Bloom, Venusaur. All right, so that's all the grass guys? Pokemon. Every first gen grass Pokemon ranked. Nah. Really? There's only 14 of them? Guess that would explain it. And there's just. Okay, let's put uh, Parasect and Paris in. Because I said so. Because I've all. I don't know why. I think for some reason I, I like those guys. Don't ask me why, though. Paris and Parasect. Bulbasaur. And who did he turn into? Bulbasaur goes into whatever Bulbasaur goes into. Bulbasaur. Wait a minute. This doesn't even have the Bulbas. There's Bulbasaur. Oh, okay. It does. Ivysaur. 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 It should be Saur like it is. <laughs> like Dinosaur. <laughs> I should probably read the words. Ivy Sar. Okay. We have Parasect. Grass guy number one. I don't have Paris. Parasect. Sarcpedo. I guess I could do multiple stage ones for this guy. Why not? Since So that would mean I need to do a stage two. So if I do Parasect, we'll go here and um, Ivy Sar turns into. Um, Whatever Ivysaur turns into. Venusaur. 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 I say Venusaur. Venusaur. Stage. Two. Two stages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, we got Paris and Parasect, Ivysaur, and we got a stage two Venusaur, and I have Tangella, who's none of the above, and I'm not going to evolve these other guys, because that would just be too many evolve evoluting, evoluting Pokemon. So, don't know who else. So I'll just put another, let's put Execute, even though I'm not going to have his uh, eggs, 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 Execute. Right? Probably spell. I'm pretty sure it's egg something. Oh, it's X egg cute. X egg. X egg cute. X egg cute. <laughs> X egg cute. Huh. So it's interesting. These guys are on their cracked heads and stuff. So these two guys are angry, but they're not cracked. That guy's angry and he's cracked. He's angry and cracked. He's worried and cracked and he's just worried. <laughs> Don't quite understand their expressions. I could understand. I'm, you know, being angry for being cracked, maybe being worried for, you know, that you could get cracked. But what are this guy's problems? Why are they angry? Their brothers are cracked. <laughs> Assuming all these guys are, you know, so it's interesting too if you think about execute because he turns into uh, executor, right? And executor. Oh, I guess there are multiple heads on here. So, I was thinking they they have like six eggs and execute, and then what they merge and become executor, which is only three heads, right? So. They must merge two heads each, but they are a lot happier. They all seem to be happy about their jobs. This guy's just kind of feisty looking. He's just like, <laughs> you don't know better. 
You don't know me. All right. I think that's good enough. We've got a variety of names. Do I have all of them identified? Close, close, close. Just got some, what is that guy? Oh, it's just one of my specials, okay. So I don't need to put like this on my specials because the specials, specials don't have any kind of uh, this stuff. They don't even necessarily have a level on them. I just never removed it, so. So specials and energy are probably both energy. The difference is I'm planning to make specials a form of special energy. That's my plan. So these energies will have two purposes. One, you can discard it and gain some ability for it, or you could just use it like energy. Um, do I make it colorless? Do I usually special energy is colorless, unless it's like, you know, I've got some special ability. So ultimately your Pokemon, if they're using these kind of energy, are at risk for um, damaging themselves because you're losing it. But so although I have them in each, ultimately they're probably gonna be a lot of the same stuff. You know. And we want plenty of them in there. See, we part of our thing is we gotta make sure there's enough for everybody. So if I only put two specials in each stack, that means somebody who goes through the grass roller is not gonna find very many of them. And they may not be able to get anything good from that world. So the proportions of energy and Pokemon are gonna have to be pretty close to equal. I may only have one or two or three or four unique ones. Maybe only one or two unique ones or three one three but every area should have them enough for everybody um maybe we'll even have to have some rules when you're putting them into your pokemon's pokemon decks you can't have more than x amount in each pokemon's deck so you can maybe put one in each deck but and that would mean in four people maybe i make only a certain number of them available like if we have six stacks and um, I want to have enough for everybody to get one out of four. So in those, we might put four in per, four per stack. That means 24 and everybody can get, you know, get a couple. Um, so if we have four times six, that would be everybody can get six. That's one for each Pokemon. And you're only allowed to put one in each Pokemon's deck. That might work. But keeping that in mind, that means we have to have that many of all of them to be available for everybody to have one in every deck. Perhaps we don't need that many, but you know we're doing the math to make it available for everyone. Um, so, and some people, and it's not really an odds thing because if you can only put them in each Pokemon's deck once in each Pokemon, you know you're you're not really playing the odds that much because it's not that hard to draw up your cards in this game. Um, you draw them up because it's your health, and you only have a select set, but let's say you're level let's say you're level 25 and you've got um upwards of what did i say the max you would you would be able to get 25 so you might have at level 25 you may only have you know eight or nine cards in a pokemon's deck it's not that hard to draw them up and plus at that level you're probably drawing more you might be drawing four or five cards that's two draws you know you're gonna see all your cards they don't, the, the decks individually don't level, don't change that much um, or that often. Um, you can build it differently each time you recast a Pokemon. In other words, you pull them out of his, uh, maybe we'll even have cards that allow you to switch cards out from your trainer deck into a Pokemon's deck. So you can take a card out um, and switch it, switch it back in for another one. Um, then if you heal that Pokemon, you get, you get your cards back too. So, a couple of options there. I'm even thinking that when Pokemon go back into the Pokédex, in other words, you switch out Pokemon, that they heal automatically, so the next time they come out, they're full health, but you have to leave them in there for, you know, for a while. Like maybe... 
I don't know, what's a good time? You have to, maybe you have to be in town to do a Pokédex and What is the turnaround? Maybe a full day? <laughs> yeah, that would probably be good. Because if you figure, let's say uh, a full day being morning, noon, and night, or morning, afternoon, and night. Um, if I'm only doing that, that would be three turns. So they have to stay in there for at least three turns before you can take them back out. So you have to s basically sit around, or maybe it's two days or I have to go morning, afternoon, and night, morning, afternoon, and night each time before you can take a Pokemon out. So, and you have to do it in town. So there's a little a little bit of a, a delay that you have to go through in order to um, make that trade. And I think it's reasonable because, you know, I mean, it's, it's a nice way to do it. You don't have to keep track of their health when they go into the Pokedex, but you also can't take them back out. Um, immediately just kind of you can't just say okay i'm putting him in oh i'm taking him back out because that doesn't work because that's not reasonable i mean i mean i guess if you're in the pokemon center you can heal but so one of the things what are the some of the things we need you know maybe we should start working i did say we'd start it's 41 minutes I know we haven't fully finished this out because I still got to figure out the formulas for these, but let's take a break from this. Let's go do some cards. Um, got our trainer deck, which is in our encounter cards. Let's do some encounter cards. So the idea of being behind the encounter cards is that these are what you're going to be flipping. Um, I kind of keep going back and forth on the premise or the process of encounters. Right, so the Pokemon decks or the area cards so I'm thinking the encounter cards are going to be a fixed stack that you just keep cycling through so it's only got so many options so and I thought maybe having three different stacks um, that one for each type of area you know you're on the trail this is on the trail flip this card up but if, this, if you're doing if you're doing a um, you know, if you're in the town, you flip these cards up, and if you're because it's just a process of discovery, you know, what what are you finding when you're walking around? You know, it's like the whole place is covered in clouds, <laughs> and you're slowly ex exposing areas, sort of, sort of, in a way. So, you don't know what you're finding for sure. Uh, there is the option of locking stuff down once you found it. This is where these are. This is where those are. But I don't know if I like that. You know, it seems like if you're search, if you're walking on a trail, it's like there's the randomness, right? You can run into them. If you walk by there once, you might not hit anything. You run them in another time. So our encounter cards are going to say, I think we're just going to keep one. And each one will just be what it is. So it's going to be kind of random anyway. So we'll have a trail result, and we're probably going to have to have, um, let's see, Ins insert this because I want to put this in, let's say, uh, um, let's see, it's a t location type, and then we have, um, Counter type. It feels weird to only have a couple things on the encounter, but what we could say is trail, and each card is going to have alright, so each card, oh, okay, I think that's right. So I think what we actually need to do is say How about if we just say encounter and then on the encounter we have our encounter type 
All right, let's, yeah, okay, here we go. I'm just kind of sorting this out in my head. We'll say trail. Um, trail encounter. We'll have um, off trail encounter. And we'll have town encounter. So now every card will have one of the each type of encounter. So it's just kind of random. We want to mix it up a little. Um, so we could say trainer. And we can say Pokemon. And we can say uh, none. And then this guy could be, so basically we'll be doing a variety of these. And I'm not even gonna, let's just say we wanna do 15. Sure, 15. And then we'll just have a variety of stuff here. So we'll say, uh, do we wanna have Pokemon on here? So we'll say, uh, so for trail, you might have none. And a couple of nuns, maybe, and then we'll also have another trainer. You can run into a Pokemon, though it's not as likely. Um, we can have none and a tr uh, item, and we'll have none. I think if you're walking on the trail, you're going to have less encounters. I just think that's kind of the expectation. You can run into more trainers, but there's just not going to be as many things going on. None, item, trainer. Do have to have enough trainer options to fill in some spots. So we got one, two, three, trainer, and um, what up? Two. So out of 15, eh, we'll say trainer. Trainers are everywhere. That's okay, that's a lot of trainers. All right, so now off trail, you can also have some none. Town encounter, we'll say, uh, what do we wanna say? This will be a shop. Uh, Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center. Now we're gonna have to have a little bit of all the common things. We'll just say uh, shop. And none, and Pokemon Center, and none, <laughs> and shop, and shop, and um, I'm sure there's other things. Is there like, what kind of, um, let's see, town locations and Pokemon. Cities and towns, Pokemon Wiki. Let's see what they got in there. Let's see, let's go to Pallet Town. Do we talk about them at all? Pallet Town is the home of Ash Ketchum. Well, man, we can just... That's not even in English. I mean, that's the part it says. Okay, what do we got? What else? Town map. Bulbasaur. Community driven. Lost cities and towns. Kanto, Kalos. Hmm. What buildings are in Pokemon towns? <laughs> I know it's Pokemon centers. Category buildings, Pokemon wiki. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. You know, gyms, Kanto gyms, Johto gyms. Okay, there's a lot of gyms. Pokemon daycare. Oh, daycare is where you do the uh, Pokédex. Oh, wait, no, because then they had the... Ooh, that would be interesting to try to build that into it, huh? So maybe that's a thing. Maybe we find gyms in towns. Because they have gyms in towns. I didn't know that. Aether House, Alola Pokemon League, All True Tower... Antimony Research Lab. 
Eek. Battle Club. Canalave Library. So you can have a library. It'd be kind of interesting to have some of this stuff, but. Pokemon Center. That's a classic. Pokemon Daycare. I don't know what Pokemon Daycare is. What is that? Trainers can leave their Pokemon to let it gain experience points. Depends on how long one leaves it there. This can be an easy way to raise Pokemon and breed. Should we have a Pokemon Daycare? Ooh, that would be kind of cool. How would we do that? Pokemon Federation and... Only one Pokemon can be dropped off at a daycare. After obtaining the National Pokédex and defeating the Champion Blue, the player can access the Seville Islands, and at Four Islands, there is a facility in which he she can store the Pokemon. If both are different genders are in the same A group, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get into that level. That might be interesting to do for a future thing, but they will most likely breed a new Pokemon. Generation 2 onwards, two Pokemon can be dropped off at a daycare. Run by the daycare couple, the trainer will be charged a price of $100 per level increase of a single Pokemon. In Generation 4, the daycare center was upgraded with a Pokey, po Pokey Tech peripheral, which allowed the trainer to view their Pokemon's progress through the use of daycare checker. When deposited in the daycare, the Pokemon are top moved by the daycare couple according to level. Huh. It's all kind of cool, but I think that's expansion. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to be able to get that in our game certainly not with the time frame of trying to get this done I mean I could probably do it if we get it's the kind of thing is I'll get the game working and we go what do we need let's add some more buildings yeah you know we can add more to it but for now there are a lot of buildings um, it would be cool to add plenty but you know what maybe this is where we find our gems you know, you can't go into the gym unless you qualify. We'll have to have rules for that. But if you do find a gym in a town, you know, uh, we may even have to have, like, what town? Because some of these are like, this is a Kanto region. We're doing, like, maybe we're doing Kanto region, which is the first region. And there's multiple Kanto gyms. So, look, they have the Pewter, Cerulean, Vermilion, Saladon, Fuchsia, Saffron, Cinnabar, and Viridian. I didn't realize there are so many. Uh, just like most regions, the Kanto region has many gyms located throughout the towns and cities. In Generation 1, games red and blue. Generation 2, gold and silver. There are a total of eight gyms. In the Pokemon anime, the, the main character, Ash, battled at eight gyms as well. However, as seen with several character badges, there were other unidentified gyms that were not shown in the game. Oh. Okay, so maybe that's what we need to think of. Maybe we need to have eight cities, eight towns. Hmm. Just because it seems to be the uh, kind of the standard. What's the uh, first region hash Pokemon? Ash caught his first Pokemon Caterpie, and Ash catches the Pokemon in showdowns in Pewter City. Ash decided to compete in Pokemon League and regional championships for any badges from gyms across Kanto region. So Kanto region is going to be our first region. So let's actually, uh, again, I'm doing all this based on Pokemon with the thought that maybe I'll have to retheme at some point. But I could say... If we change it to some other kind of monster, dinosaurs, whatever, <laughs> well, uh, we will have to change some of that stuff. Oops, cancel. I'm gonna get my get my one note going here, so we can write down some of our new pieces of information. It all comes down to your imagination. So says SpongeBob. I don't think he said it with an accent, though. <laughs> okay, so let's go up here. We still haven't got a game title, do we? <laughs> game title. Uh, Pokemon. Can't be Pokemon Master, so the Pokemon... 
Pokemon churn po Oh, what's the type? Pokemon not masters. How about I think it's something along the lines of progression. Pokemon not adventures. What's what's a oh I know I have like a word in my mind, but I can't find it. What's a thesaurus word for adventures? The thesaurus. See, you gotta use all kinds of tools. Let's see here, adventure, exploit, escapade, Pokemon escapades. <laughs> let's see what else we got. Um, and let's see here, quest, Pokemon quest. I think quest has already been used by their uh, by something they've done before. Pokemon. What does that mean? Pokemon keepers. No, Pokemon romp. Pokemon progression. I think I like Quest, but I think Pokemon Quest existed already. Oh, that'd be good if I spelled correctly. Adventures, Pokemon. Um, I know adventure. It's not, it's like Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Not quest. I don't want quest. It doesn't feel right. It's not the right one. Hmm. How about Pokemon? Wait, did I say? Oh, well, it's the same thing. Synonyms like risky venture undertaking task, escapade project, labor dangerous undertaking, Pokemon, shoo, risky adventure, boo, 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 come on, something good, Pokemon, travels, Pokemon Travels, does that work? Colliver's Travels. <laughs> Ash's Travels. <laughs> no, because then you have to have Ash and you have to be, you know, Trainer Travels. Trainer. No, you have to have the word Pokemon in it. I mean, even Pokemon, even Master Trainer is Pokemon Master Trainer. Pokemon. And I thought, oh, Pokemon Level Up, Pokemon Venture, Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Ah, Pokemon on the brain, which I guess I probably should if that's what I'm doing. Let's see, Pokemon. Conquest. Pokemon Conquest. No. Wild, exciting undertaking. No, 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 no. Pokemon title, game title. <sighs> I keep wanting to say Pokemon Adventures, but I'm pretty sure there's there's already a Pokemon Adventures. Pokemon Adventures. And that still doesn't. It's not ringing the bell for me. You know, there's you gotta have your bell rung. <laughs> <laughs> when, you're building, when you're choosing a name, if it doesn't ring your bell, and your bell's not rung, well, you're probably still conscious. Um, see Pokemon Adventures. See Pokemon Adventures collectors. Pokemon Adventures in the blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Lots of Pokemon Adventures. That must be uh, their title of their shows. Videos, videos. Okay, so I'm not using Pokemon Adventures. Pokemon. Quest, no. Pokemon. Treasuring, treasure finders. Uh, Pokemon trainer. 
Mm. It's got to be it. You just need to shape your words. D and D and D has conquests, right? I mean, what are what are some words for your travels? It's not just adventures. It's Dungeons and Dragons um, campaign. I could call it a campaign, but it's not really a campaign if you're only doing one. I think my subtitle is going to be the Kanto region. It's going to be something, something, something. Kanto, Kanto region. That's my subtitle. Because I want them to know that they're in the Kanto region. And everything we do is going to be in the Kanto region. And then eventually, um, there will be more. First edition book. Pokemon, I'm thinking, you know, they've probably come up with everything. It's not Pokemon Quest. Po I'm thinking, oh gosh, Pokemon a Growth, uh, po Level Up, I want to say Level Up, but Pokemon Adventures is a Japanese manga series based on the Pokemon media franchise created by video game designer Satoshi Tajiri. Oh, good job, S Satoshi Tajiri, for taking my name, even though, you know, adventures, collectors, Pokemon, travels, master trainer travels. Trainer travels. Trainer. If I don't want to say master trainer. <laughs> I know that's what they're called. But I don't want to say master trainer. I'm saying. Uh, uh, Pokemon. It is trainer. I mean, you are a trainer. Quest, not quest. It's like I feel like there is. Is it conquest? No. Destiny? How about Pokemon Trainer's Destiny? Meh. Uh, Pokemon. Destiny. Mas how about Pokemon Master Destiny? No, I think we're getting close. I think I'm getting something that sounds better and a little bit more unique. Trainer's Destiny. Uh, what is the... Uh, what is what is it, that term? Um, for... Manifest Destiny. How about Pokemon Manifest Destiny? <laughs> uh, Master Destiny. How about, let's see, let's look up synonyms again. I'm looking up another one for Destiny. Inevitable Reckoning. Ooh, Reckoning. Eh, Reckoning's not going to work. Natural event, end of the world, happening, doomsday. See, these people don't know. What do they know? <laughs> they, don't, they don't know nothing. These people don't know nothing. There's no good words for the, for causal, causal, occult, cause. Oh, come on. In providence? Hmm. Hmm, Pokemon providence. No, it's too... Too off, I don't know, too obscure. Yeah. Pokemon. Arg. 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 See, these kind of things, just coming up with a name can be, uh, can, can be frustrating. <laughs> uh, 
let's see, jaunt, excursion, Pokemon excursion, trainer's excursion, journey. Hmm. Hmm. Journey. That's a trainer's journey. Pokemon. A trainer's journey. Hmm. Maybe. Still becomes a side. Side. Uh, kind of a subtitle, but Pokemon Trainer's Journey. Hmm. I feel like there's another word. Let's see. What other words we got for journey? Odyssey. Hmm. Odyssey. That's interesting. Pokemon Trainer's Odyssey. Da voyage. Eh, voyage implies ships and water and other fun stuff. Schlep. <laughs> schlep. Pokemon schlep. Schlep the Master Trainer. I'm going to schlep my way down there. Um, sachet. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon sachet, uh, expedition, Pokemon jaunt, no, trainer's jaunt, no, circuit, no, 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 voyage, stage, trip, traveling, Pokemon, master, Ma journey to master um pokemon a champion's conquest no a champion's quest a champion's journey huh that sounds kind of long. Remember what I said before? When you're creating a name for a game, try not to make it too, too big. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to remember a 15-word 15, uh, 15 title. <sighs> Trainer's Quest. I can say that. It's still Pokemon. What does the box say? I mean, it's always Pokemon Master Trainer. It's three words. That's not bad. But I, if I say a trainer's quest, Pokemon Trainer's Quest. Because uh, I feel like there's another word for quest, but I can't, I can't, I can't pick it. I mean... I feel like there is. Maybe my brain is trying to make up a word. <laughs> but remember I tell you, don't make up words. Do not put made up words in your titles. Never, never, never. <laughs> wild Goose Chase. <laughs> Pokemon Trainers Wild Goose Chase. Uh, okay. Pokemon Trainers Pursuit. Mm, maybe. I think Quest is more. A Pokemon Trainer's Journey. Pokemon. A Trainer's Journey. Pokemon Trainer's Quest. Trainer's. Pokemon Trainer's Destiny. Pokemon. Trainer's Destiny. Hmm. No. Hmm. Because if I was going to say destiny, it would have to be Ash, right? Because all trainers don't succeed, so you can't say trainer's destiny. It'd have to be like Ash's destiny. But if you do that, then everybody's Ash. Because <laughs> it's whoever wins. Is, whoever, the, whoever wins gets to be Ash. Nobody wants. I mean, that's great, but you want to be just, you just want to be a trainer. And it's your quest, right? It's your quest to become the best. Quest for the best. Pokemon. Quest for the best. Trainer's 
train. And now we could do something like that. You know, a couple of options. Do something like Pokemon Quest for the Best. Kanto region. Kan, 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 Kanto region. Okay, so we did some work today. Did an hour and ten minutes. I know, not long. I'm sorry. We got to work some time. Got some titles, possible uh, working titles. Don't know which one we'll go with. Uh, maybe I should post that on my Twitter and see if anybody gives me any feedback. You know, I've got I've, I've got a good ten followers on Twitter. <laughs> maybe one of them will get back to me. <laughs> I'll have to do it. Pokemon Trainer's Quest. Pokemon's Quest for the Best. Um, I think those are two decent titles, so I think they might work. Um, quest to be the best. To be the best. That's too many words. Quest for the best. Kind of right. Kind of just. Um, quest to be the best. I mean, quest for the best. Trainer's Quest. I, I don't know. I like them both. I think they're both good for working titles. You know, you got to go all the way, go all in. So these are all the things you're going to go for. You could spend hours and hours working on a title, right? Because for one, you know, like my football one, for example. I wanted to say football, but I also wanted to say NFL without being anything <laughs> owned by the NFL. So we got to say something that implies NFL connected without being NFL. So you could sp I spent a lot of time working on uh, possible names for that game. Um, I was thinking uh, some of the names are like True to Life Football or um, FFL. What did I call it? FFL stand for. Uh, I was actually trying to go with Fantasy Football. Um, but, and it was meant to be a play on the term fantasy football because, of course, the characters, it all look like fantasy because we can't look like people either. You're not allowed to use likenesses, <laughs> which is awesome. So, the, everything is kind of just a, is a, a it's, I, I went about, I came up with some pretty, I think, unique ways of, connecting all of my players to actual NFL players. Therefore, those players would always be the same in future versions, except that they would have different stats for each year. Um, however, that said, I'm not actually connecting them to them. I'm going to allow my, allow those that buy the game try to figure out who these players are. You know, they know who they are. It's going to become known, and there'll be somebody out there that figures them out. Um, but I personally will not actually tie them to real players in any kind of documentation, and people will just have to figure it out. I do leave clues <laughs> on uh, what players they are. Um, and I don't know if there's anything wrong with that or not. I guess we'll find out. If I release the game and the NFL comes knocking on my door, and then I'd have to talk to somebody and find out if they can knock on my door. Have I done anything wrong? I don't know. I know. Again, totally off topic. It's been one, an hour and 15 minutes. It's Friday. I'm going to call it for today. It's tough when we do an hour at a shot because, I mean, I think our total time is hey, 16 days here. And I think I've probably spent, well, 16 days if I've done an hour a couple of times a day. I'm probably working into my third day of work. So if I was working full time on this, I'm only on day three. It can take weeks or months to develop a game, even if you're doing it full time. Um, and that's that's just getting it ready for play testing. Now granted, for a lot of people, you might have games and you'll have some pretty nice stuff after three months. But I'm saying, I mean, even a month of just design work is not unlike, is not impossible. Um, if you're really going head on into it and really trying to get it hammered out well. So we've done three days. I'm expecting that total time might be somewhere close to a week to two weeks before I'm actually able to do a full-on nice game. 
which will have no good graphics because I am no good at graphics. <laughs> so that's a heads up. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Until the next day, see you then, probably Monday. <laughs>